Travellers, and welcome to another Urban Viking Ale review. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from Siren Brewery, and this is their, uh, after let's get this right, because it's a long word, Pompel, Pompel Macello, Pompel Macello, which is a juicy grapefruit sour um, IPA, so, and it comes in at 6%. I haven't done many siren beers, but they look really, I mean, they look really nice. So, and there are a few of them in the supermarkets now, so I might as well give them a go. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this one, a sour IPA. I don't think I've ever had a sour IPA. I've had sour beers in the past, like, um, oh, names escape me now. But I've done sour beers in the past. Uh, Heart of Darkness, that was a, one that uh, Ryan gave me ages ago, about 10, 11 years ago. Um, that was a sour that I've done. That was really nice. And also the Cantions back in the past. But anyway, let's give this a go. Grapefruit sour. Wow, it doesn't look like there's much carbonation. Um, oh, actually, no. Tell a lie. There you go. That was quite an aggressive pour. Um, as you can see, it yeah, it just looks like a slightly hazy, very pale looking beer. So let's give it a nose. Yeah, you can you can smell it's going to be a little bit sour. It's like you get that sort of tang sort of scent up your nose. You're getting grapefruit straight away. Yeah, it just smells like really sort of tangy grapefruit. That's on the nose anyway. I don't know what it's going to taste like. But let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. Woo! Oh! I've forgotten how much I like sours, you know. This is like my first sour beer in quite a while. <clears throat> wow. Really, really tangy. If anything, it tastes more like really sort of like crab apples or something like that. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of grapefruit, but mostly like a like a wild apple. Like you know, like you used to scrump off the trees when you were younger. You get them growing in the field and they'd be like tiny little apples. Like you take a bite and they'd be really sour. But when you were kids in them days, you know, it was cheaper just to scrump some apples and to beg your mum for 10p to get a 10p mix. <laughs> God, I'm showing my age. Mm. Yeah, that, that, oh, that sourness is so nice. It's really refreshing. You get a nice saltiness as well. Around the, around the edge of the tongue, which just complements it so well. <clears throat> you are getting grapefruit. It's starting to come through a little bit more now. That apple sourness was probably just a reflection on the sourness of beer. Um, but yeah, you're getting the grapefruit now. Very, very refreshing. Very, very zingy. Um, this is the sort of beer you want to sort of sit and savour, although it is really, really quaffable as well, because... Sour beers are. I'm surprised to see this in the oh. oh, that bitterness! I love it. I love it. Is one thing I like is like I like really hoppy beers, and I like sour. Oh, that is so nice. I'm surprised to see this in the supermarket actually, um, because I can see a few people being a bit sort of put off by it, but that is a. Gorgeous sour. That is really nice. I can't believe that's in a supermarket. Siren Pomelo. Come on, get this right. Po Pomel. Pompel. Pompel. I'll tell you what, this stroke has really messed, messed up my head because I used to be able to reel off stuff like this all the time. Pompel Macello. Right. Pompel Macello. There you go. You didn't need me to say it, but there it is. It's in the supermarkets. Oh, if you like sour beers, go for it. It's really, really nice. If you don't like sour beers and you want to try one, <clears throat> give it a go. Because, you know, it's in the supermarket. You might as well. 
Um, so there you go. Uh, what ratings I'll give that? I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. That's so nice. Really, really nice. So thank you very much for watching and take care. Cheers.